joy and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. But he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Yes. Who shall, hallelujah, ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy faith, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty and the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, he will lift them up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord for the reason of the word and the truth of the word. He came to lift up, hallelujah, our heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors. Hallelujah for the King of glory to come in. We honor him today. Hallelujah. On our pastor, hallelujah, in our absence right now. We honor, hallelujah, the mother's board, hallelujah, Mother Jackson, hallelujah, Mother Strauss, hallelujah. We thank and we praise the Lord for everybody in their respective places. Hallelujah. We open up, hallelujah, our testimony, hallelujah, testimony service. We sing praises to our King. For he is the
Hallelujah. We thank and we praise the Lord. Testimony service is open. Hallelujah. For those that wish to testify of the goodness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me.
blundered in this on this piece of paper. Blundered not. But see, God went out of me and he showed me some more things that I didn't know what the word was trying to tell me. That's why I'm in the house with this little man. All right. That's why I'm in here with him today. Because all because of God. Hallelujah. He did. God did it. I want y'all to know it. He did it. And I'm going to stay in here. And I'm going to stay here with him. Because God says all over. God will pray for us. Yes. That we go strong and strong in God. Yes. Yes.
because he saved my soul. Oh, yes. so he I filled me with his precious gifts. Yes. 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 I am still filled with his precious gifts. Yes. 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 I thank him. Thank I thank him. Thank Hallelujah.
praise God. I didn't tell I always tell my husband I love him. Because love is an action word. You can't say I love you and you don't back up what you say. But I praise God for that young man. You know, 79 years old. Hallelujah. I praise God for keeping us together. 57 years. God is a good God. Thank <laughs> you. 
She's weary. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. Say it. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Verse 8 again, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Amen. Would you introduce this subject in the form of a prayer? Lord, Lord. help me to hold out. You may take your seat. Lord, help me to hold it out. Amen. Jesus had just got finished talking to them about his return. And he now begins to give this great dissertation, this teaching on prayer. He talks about how we have a great duty to persevere in prayer. The prayer of persevering in prayer, the parable, pardon me, the unjust judge, he didn't pay nobody no mind. He didn't care who you was. If you had a dime, he had time. There was a poor widow. She was being abused. She kept appealing to the judge. And there was a silence of the judge. He was harsh. He eventually met her need. It was interesting that when he said, uh, let she weary me. And the literal meaning of that is, let she black my eyes. She just she just wouldn't turn loose. I know you remember back in the day when they used to have those schoolyard fights where everybody went home and they didn't shoot. There was always this one that had the little ponytail about that big. Always fight little bit. Boy, but when they got into the scrap, whoever started that thing regretted that. Because they didn't have no turn off switch. They <laughs> Okay, we done fought enough now. I'm done. They's like, I'm just getting started. And this is how this widow woman was. She just would not let go. And God is telling us tonight that we need to persevere in prayer. We need to persevere in prayer. We need to keep coming to God. Keep going in him until. 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 Until what happened is, I didn't think about this till tonight, right now, matter of fact. I saw this illustration. It was the most starkest thing I ever seen. There was this man in this desert, and he was crawling up the side of this hill. And he got right there to this hill, and he gave up. And on the other side of that hill, they had this big city, still, oasis, water everywhere, food everywhere. But he stopped. I couldn't even figure out. I was like, Lord, why are you giving me this here? This is, you know, this is a mother's program. I mean, you got something for the mothers? Yeah, for the mothers and the whole church. Whatever you're praying about. You just about there. If, if you quit now. Let that sink in a little bit. If, if you quit now. So, so here's how this works. I'm trying to stick with this storyline. Because it's right here in the scripture. What Jesus was talking about this parable. And how we ought to pray. I'm going to get to verse 8 in a minute. But, but the Lord was... Right over there on the ark, he said, now you got to bring this part to him because somebody just about to. See, in your midnight hour, body of Christ, please get this. In your midnight hour, it's still, it's black, right? But midnight is the start of a new day. It 
it's still dark. You can't see nothing. It's still midnight. But it's the beginning of a new day. You just haven't seen them. The, I hope somebody get this tonight. You ain't seen the light yet, but, but the new day has already started. And so what God wants us to do is he wants us to develop this, this trust in him. That, that we go to him first in, instead of an emergency uh, contact. We keep going to him last. After we done did everything. He wants us to go to him first. And to know that though he waits. Now you got to get this part right here. The widow kept going to the judge. And for a while he wouldn't answer her. So you say, God, I keep praying about this thing. Why are they changing yet? Why? Why? Now, two things. If God gives you an answer, what can you do with it? Now, I want you to really think about this. If he told you why, what difference would it make? What, what could you do with it? Up until this point, you haven't been able to fix it no how. And, and then he wants to develop uh, uh, patience in us. Now get this. Patience is not your ability to wait. It's your attitude. Amen. Amen. It's your attitude why you wait. So you're trying to rush God. See, a lot of people want antiques made in an hour. Like for instance, and the Lord told me this a long time back. Sometimes we want people to come in right now. But they ain't got sick and tired of what they was. So, so if they come in, just like the Sunday school lesson this morning, if that soil ain't tilled up right, that seed gonna go in there, not gonna last long. How many people you seen over the years? They come in and they were blazing. They testimony was bigger than yours. They were shouting longer than you. They was on their way to heaven anyhow. But then like in boxing, the headgear came off. Now when they go hit you, now you look at the trainer like, where's the guy that ring the bell? We can stop this right now. I'm done. Because the headgear came off. There's this period of time where everything is nice and sweet and you won't kill an ant. But after a while, that other stuff come out. Okay, come on. Yes. And then you got to really develop some real grit. Amen. This woman here, she kept going to the judge. She kept going day and night. As we go further, we see that Jesus asked this question. He said, when the Son of Man coming, shall he find? He's going to be looking for faith. Jesus indicates that at the time of his return draws near, and you can see this now. It ain't just our church. It's not just the apostolic churches or the Pentecostal churches or the holiness churches. Even the big ministries that were worldwide drawing people by the million, people are starting to dwindle away from the faith. See, this is the danger. Now we get in trouble. This is the danger of bringing all these fads in the church because whatever you bring to, use to bring people in, you got to use to keep them. And after a while, they won't want that. They'll go get the real thing. Come on. Come on. In other words, ain't nothing. Here we go. We got all these concerts and stuff, and we're and we, we doing all these things to bring people in, the light shows and fog and stuff like that. After a while, they just don't see Taylor Swift. They don't need them on the French team. <laughs> the people that are teaching the word they come in 
be dressed like they're part of the boy band. That's the why they just go see the boy band. Amen. We can't drop the standard because the world say, you know, if you just give them a little bit of this, if you just bend a little bit here, if you just twist a little bit here, we can bring them in. I'm a young man with an old message. No, you won't. You won't be able to bring them in, and you're not going to be able to keep them. I've been in here since I was 19. I'm telling you the truth. I've seen them come and seen them go fast. It's going to come in and out. If the word of God don't lock them in to Jesus, if the word of God don't keep them, if they don't learn how to stop saying a prayer and pray a prayer, how to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and they won't fear no evil, they'll be gone. Don't bring all this stuff into the church and desecrate the house of God and, and desecrate the sanctuary with all this stuff that's of the world. This is God's church. He set this up. He set up the standard. He set up everything that's how it's supposed to be, how he wants to be worshipped. You fall out when you go to Burger King, they don't fix your cheeseburger right. How you make God feel when you bring him stuff he didn't ask for? Was it First Timothy 4 and 1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Now watch this. Once you depart from the faith, the next step is you're going to give heed to seducing spirits. Once you give heed to the seducing spirits, now they're going to teach you doctrines of devils. Second Timothy 3, 1 and 2, 5. Watch this. It says, Knowing this knowing also that in the last day, perilous time shall come. Hey, listen. You just have all the kumbaya moments you want to. The Bible had already said, before the return of Christ, things going to get tricky and sticky. For men shall be lovers of their own self. Hey, watch this. I'm not against social media. I'm just a messenger of the Lord. Now watch this. Facebook make millions and millions of dollars, right? What have they created? They doing the same thing the flea markets do. They give you a space to tell your story. Take all your data, all your information, and keep it stored and then use it. Make millions of dollars off of you loving yourself. Instagram, TikTok, what have they created? And they give you awards for it. For you loving your flesh. And so they have become a platform, if not used correctly, a platform to make an idol out of yourself. Now you violated the scripture because God said you should have no other God. I mean to say all that, but covetous want everything everybody else get. You got a house. Well, you need more house. We don't even take care of the house we got. Want a new car? The old car got chicken bones all up under the seat. Come on. Chips. Fingerprints on it. If the police are looking for you, all they have to do is walk up to your car. Posters. <laughs> Woo! Posters. I used to watch, a, you know, I like watching a, every now and then uh, wrestling. And part of the, the whole gimmick is to come out and talk smack. <laughs> And the more they talk, the more the people want to see them. There was this one guy, he talked all the time. Get beat up every match. But the people come out to see him because how much he was talking. See, we can't boast in ourselves when it's God who pushed air in and out of our nose. 
I thought this in Sunday school, but tell y'all here, I had a dream many years ago, and I was standing up in front of all these people. I just kept trying to preach, trying to preach. There was nothing come out. I woke up. You know, something we ain't got to ask God about. He'd drop it right there and have you waiting for you like coffee when you wake up. He said, if I don't breathe through you, you ain't saying nothing to nobody. See, people, listen, I hope y'all take this the wrong way. People ain't got to tell me to be humble because all the time God takes that safety pin of righteousness and just knock that air right out and go get lifted up. You don't have to tell me. I already know. Proud. Oh my God, look at this one here. Everybody's proud now. Do you know who I am? Do you know what my name is? Do you know what I've accomplished? I like how Bishop used to say it all the time. There are no, uh, what do you call them? They U-Haul trucks following people to the grave. And you best believe them people wait there. They're going to wait till you leave. And they only wait to the pawn shop. Blasphemers. Now, you see this all the time now. They're making more fun of Jesus Christ than I've ever seen in my life. They are desecrating the, the crucifixion. Somebody was telling me about a video. I didn't go look at it. But it was telling me about this video how they're desecrating uh, Christ on the cross. And uh, I'm not even going to describe what all they said. But there is no fear of God now. No fear of God. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Uh-oh. You, you see in this right now? I was at the, uh, <laughs> I was at the hospital uh, for an appointment. And the two different families came in. I never heard the things that these kids say to their parents. Go on, go on. I would have never been able to tell my mama, even if it was the truth, that she was cheap. I sat there, I didn't even turn around. I'm like, He trying to talk to them now. Johnny, please. Will you please put that down? Are you re evaluating your actions? How do you feel about this? And after a while, when you do go and try to correct Johnny, now Johnny going to learn how to fight. Now you got a real problem. Because if you do get to get to the police, to the phone to call the police, you can't talk. <laughs> That ain't how it used to be. And these are little kids falling down the store. I see them and I want this now. Because this is what God has given me to tell you. We are at a time now where 
where the, the, the uh, activities of demons, what it was in 1994, is different now. This is the reason why we got to pray harder. This is the reason why we got to dig into the word harder. This is why we need to pray for each other more. And so the people are always out natural affection. And when you run into them, God is giving you the assignment to pray for them because they don't know. You say, yes, they know what they're doing. Not everybody. And everybody has a story. Some people go into homosexuality and lesbianism because of something that happened in the family that's never been talked about. Sometimes people get attacked. You got to pray for them. You can't throw the baby out with the baby with the bathwater. This don't mean we endorse that. No, I'm not coming to your wedding. No, no, I'm not gonna call you the, the uh, pastor, the first man. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, I'm not coming to your girl's thing. No, no, we're not gonna do that because the Bible calls that an abomination. So whether you get into it or not, once you hear the word of God and hear that God does not like that, He did not create Adam and Eve. He after Steve. He created Adam and Eve. Not Evan and Eve. Adam and Eve. Even the industries, this is going to be a little rough right here. Even the industries that you use to pleasure yourself identify that God created Adam and Eve. If you're a woman and you got another woman trying to look like a man, why not just get a man? This, these things got to be addressed because the stuff going on in the schools, they got these counselors talking to your children. Mr. Bowery talked about that. They're talking to your children. You don't know what they tell them. It's okay if you feel like that. It's okay if you're attracted to someone that looks like that. No. No, not at all. Truth breakers, they tell you something and won't keep it. False accusers, and hey, stop getting mad because people talk about you. The Bible already said. And on top of that, when they say something about you, don't make your bank account go down. Don't make your refrigerator get empty. Don't make your might make your blood pressure go up. Incontinent, fierce, woo, despisers of, man, get this one here, despisers of those that are good. You say, why they don't like me? Because you're good. Why they always talk about me? Because you're good. Why they always trying to trick me? Because you're good. This is the time we live in. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form, now this one is dangerous right here. Of all the things I listed in the scripture, having a form of godliness, but denying the power. Listen, if there's no true conversion, the Bible says that you have opportunity to do good unto all men. Opportunity to do good. Do that to all men, especially those of the household of faith. Yes, yes, yes. So if God is love and he's in here, I shouldn't be shooting you down. If we both of the blood of Jesus Christ, both of the Holy Ghost, I don't need to be trying to sideswipe you. I need to be trying to help you. But if there's no conversion, no true conversion, no true repentance, no true man at the foot of the cross being washed in the blood. After a while, that love will show what grade and what caliber it is. It says, therefore, from such turn away. Jesus is concerned and he's asking, when I can return to the earth, will I find you still praying? Will I find the prayer wheel still turning? Will I find you still calling on the name of Jesus? 
Will I still find you leading people to me? Will I find you in the word of God? In that hiding place? He's asking the question because he said, will you continue to call on me? Will you continue to be faithful? Faithful. See, the truth about serving God is, it don't always come with no fanfare. It don't always come with confetti. And you have to watch confetti because sometimes rocks get mixed in it. When he returns, he said, will I find faith? The prayer tonight, the thought tonight, God help me to hold out. Help me, Lord, when I feel like not praying anymore. When I don't feel like going to church anymore. When the question come up, and it will come up, is this thing even worth it? But you got to ask God. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, haven't entered into the heart of man, the things that God has stored up here. But there's a verse here. He said, but in the spirit. See, you can know what God is planning for you. Ask God to reveal heaven to you. Ask him to reveal his love for you. Ask him to reveal his promises. He's got so many promises in the word that he said he would keep. God said he would keep them. See, the question is, when you, you start worrying more than you trust God, you call it God a liar. Lord, I trust you, but I'm going to give it to you, but with conditions. God said, I either want it all or you keep it. What will the Lord find when he comes back for you? God bless you.
Thank you. 